So I'm starting this video off by uh, tackling this section. Um, I flipped this over earlier to see why I was having so much issue in this section. And I found that it's pitted from here all the way about to here. So I'm actually going to um, make a piece and put it in and I'll come and I'll just do exactly like I did on this side and I'll come back in and add this lip later. So that's the plan as of right now. I'm basically just going to uh, just mark the top side and leave one side perfect. And I'll go through there and cut it. I just gotta figure out how long it needs to be. So I'm gonna do that right fast and I'll catch up with y'all in a minute. I got it made and I just got to cut out and cut off the extra. I made it a little long. I was going to try to make it go to these set of marks, but as you can see, that's in the curve. So I'm going right to the edge of it. And I made it a little short down here. I'll address that later. But I just made it short on the one side. I should have left more up more up here and put it down here, but it is what it is. You might be thinking, well, I think let's turn it over. Well, if I turn it over, neither one of my lines match up. Because this from here to there is taller than from there to there. Or at least seems to be that way because it fits right up there so has to but i'm just gonna get this cut out i'm gonna cut it along there and cut it along there and then i'll trim this piece down a bit so that's the plan and i'm gonna get to work i haven't cleaned it up at all i just uh just finished and it's still warm so that's gonna be it for tonight it's a little wavy i still gotta go over it with the hammer and dolly i still got some spots over here too but i'll work on that another day so i'm gonna make a new template because i don't want to I don't want to cut this one up to be what I need it to be. I want to save it just in case I need it for the other bedside. And I'm just going to cut, cut it out of this box right fast. I went ahead and marked it out just to show the section I do want to replace. I hope I don't have to replace more, but if I do, I do. I might actually... try to come straight off with it where I can keep this bend straight but we'll see so I just hope I don't have to replace more than more than that but if I do I do so I'm just gonna get started by cutting this box out and I'll catch up with you in a few minutes So I made a mistake. I cut it too short. As you can see, I got it flush on this side, pretty much. And this side, I got a big hunking gap. So my plan is just to cut it down the center, add a piece, weld it back together, and go back with it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll put the time lapse on.
so I was just gonna do a little update to catch y'all up. I tried to patch this little section that was right here, but it just kept popping up. Um, there you probably see them. And I was trying to fill them up, but I kinda just did like I did on the other side and replaced the whole part. I was just trying to maximize the amount of metal that I have because I don't have much left. So I'm just going to transfer that piece, which my idiot self just threw it. And I'm just going to add a little bit more at the top. That way I can bend it and I'll trim it to fit. But that's what it's looking like right now. And I'm gonna get back to work. So I got it welded up, I got it cleaned up a little bit. It's not perfect. Um, of course, I still gotta add on the, the lip. I left this one a little bit long, so I'm gonna have to trim it down. And I gotta clean this one up just a little bit. I'll clean it up later today. And this uh, panel is supposed to be here tomorrow. So when I get it, I'll get started on it. But for now, we're just gonna keep on with the those two panels and that's gonna be it for a little bit so I just got this in the post today uh, it's from LMC truck it's it's that wheel arch I hope they sent me the right one um, I accidentally ordered the wrong one and called and tried to fix it so hopefully they did and if not I'll just have to wait and order the correct one and keep this one because I need it for the other side. But let's just go ahead and get this box open. So I just got it sitting on there. Um, I don't even have it really sitting on both sides, but I'm just going to, I don't have a hundred percent set and set what I'm doing, but I know I ain't going to be using all of this. I'll probably cut it off right there and keep that chunk in case I need it later on. Cause that will be able to be used on both sides, but this actual arch is different from the front to the back. So that's why it's side specific. So. Uh, but I'm most likely going to start um, probably right here and go over and up. And on this side, it won't be as far over, but I am going to be replacing right here where I ground down to get it off. But like I said, it's not set in stone, but... That's my thought process at the moment. I'm going to get out here in a couple days and get to work on this thing. But.
and the last part you saw, I got this all marked out. And I'm just gonna get started by cutting it out. Then after I have it actually cut out, I'm going to um, mark it on the panel below. And I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna stay inside and I'll snake up on it with a grinder. So that's the plan. Now, if it goes that way, I have no idea. I'm just gonna get the time lapse going and get to work. go through and slice all the way around this um, get it knocked down in place where it needs to be tack all the way around it uh, probably grind down the tacks a little bit just to make it flat then I'll go back through and move around as much as I can to keep heat away um, then in the next I just want to mention in the next video um, we'll be tackling the lips that are missing as well as um, this pocket it's broken a couple of places it's really rusty on the back side and probably from here to there will be replaced but i'm just gonna quit running my mouth and get back to work so side and I'll be uh, I'm gonna take a hammer and dolly and try to flatten it out as much as I can because there are some spots where it's low and really high kind of like bowed up when I got some heat into it so I have to dress that just like down here there's some spots in it but, uh, I'll grind this down grind this down um, add in the bottom lips like here in the front one and I'll mess with this pocket. But that's going to, have to be in the next video. I really appreciate everybody watching. Um, please leave me some feedback. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Uh, even give me some tips. Anything's appreciated. So thank you all for watching and come back again.